What's up, my love buzz and love muffins? This is Mama Love, and welcome back to my channel. I had made this intro early, but somehow when I was doing my video, I must have somehow erased it because it was too much footage on the film. So I accidentally erased my intro, and so now I'm back adding another part on here. So I just want you all to know that I am making an avocado stuffed chicken breast. Yeah, did I say that right? Avocado stuffed chicken breast with feta added. And I added my own ingredients to it. I added my own um, style. And I'm just going to be going along inside this video explaining up to you all. And then I will, you will see the results at the end. So I hope you like this video. Stay tuned. But what y'all see here is what I read off. What, what you see here is I've added things. Now, I'm not using chili powder. I'm not going to use cumin. But I'm going to be using different type of seasonings. Uh, so my season, instead of garlic powder and then add salt, I'm just going to use garlic salt. I'm going to use onion powder. I'm going to use black pepper. And y'all, I'm adding feta cheese. Inside my spread, it was just, I guess, dice up some tomatoes and put a little salt and pepper and do what you do. But I'm going to add green onions slightly diced real diced i mean diced real good and i'm adding my tomato and i'm adding my garlic and i'm gonna add my seasonings inside the avocado i also have avocado oil i'm gonna add a little bit of avocado oil okay i got my cooking spray and i got my breadcrumbs okay because I need these eggs right here because I'm gonna be using three egg whites. They say get a mallet and beat the chicken till it's flat. Me, I am actually going inside the chicken breast and I'm making one piece a half. So I'm making a kind of like fillets and how I'm doing it, I'm going, cause I want it to be easy, you all to put the spread on it or whatever. And I want it to be easy to roll that to put the toothpick in. So I really don't want I don't want all this excess chicken. I just put that on the side. But and this is how I'm going about doing it. I'm going into the fat part of the meat. See? And making this two slices instead of a slice. I mean instead of uh, the chicken breast. One chicken breast. I'm going in it. See how I'm thinning that out? So it does not call for me to season the chicken it just says put your seasoning inside your breadcrumbs but me i want my chicken seasoning as well so i'm putting the black pepper i'm putting garlic salt i already got my garlic onion powder so what is this recipe is avocado it's going to be Stuffed avocado chicken breast. So I thought it was kind of interesting to let you all see how I got two egg whites in here. Y'all, I'm doing it to the best of my ability. But this is uh, the way that I'm doing it. I remember my mom making bacon cakes like years ago, and she would use egg whites. I have to put that somewhere until I get it. And I would watch her do it this way. So this is our egg whites. This is a. Uh, our avocado spread already made up and spread it. I'm going to be spreading this over the chicken. Okay, you all, hope that you all can see that. Let me push it back a little, okay. Okay, so this is the fun part. This is the part where we put the spread on each pieces of chicken. I don't wanna overdo it. I wanna see how this works first, you all.
Okay, you all, so while that's baking, it's supposed to be like on 15 more minutes, but I just checked it. It needs to be a little bit more brown for me, you know what I'm saying? But what did I do with the leftover spread? Well, remember those eye pieces that I didn't want for my chicken, slicing my chicken fillets? These are the extra slices that I put some olive oil spray in the pan, and I just went on ahead and chopped it on up, and now I'm going to pour the over in here. And I'm gonna mix it all together, you all. And I'm gonna make a spinach wrap. Mmm. That's what we did with the extra. So this could be put placed in a Tupperware bowl, also come back for later. So it's not just on toast, you all. It can be on your, the demo, spinach wrap. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a little feta. A little feta better. Hey. And I'm going to wrap. Never did it before. So I'm gonna do it like this. How do they do it, Thrill? Remember I do it? No, I don't feel like they do it like and then you feel what I'm saying? Like I'm gonna do it like this. Yeah, like that. No. No, that's ugly. <laughs> so I'm gonna unwrap it. But it do look like this though, don't it? It looks like a burrito. Yeah. Anyway, I got two of them here, so I'm gonna make up another one. Actually, this one got more than that. Let me taste this. Mmm! Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, my touch is in it. Cause I taste the garlic and all the material I put in there. Feta's better, feta better. I'm gonna do it this way this time. I think this was the way it was supposed to be done. Yeah, I think it was. Something like that. <laughs> but, who cares, it's getting eaten, right? Y'all, this is good. So that's what I did with the leftover spread and you can do that also. You can make some spinach wraps with it, add some chicken. I did, you know what I'm saying? So. Stay tuned for the final outcome. Mmm. Mmm. I'm hungry. It's good. <laughs> you like it? So she says it's good. So that's another winner, huh? Hey, whatever, however we can eat right around here, huh? How, however we can do it, y'all. Hey, we doing it, okay? I must tell you all how this has really been a pleasure making as well as it looks. I'm proud of myself, you all, because I'm not the type of person that cooks healthy foods But instead of pat myself on the back, I'm gonna drink a sip of uh, decaf coffee to that one, y'all. Yeah, I'm proud of myself. So here's what you're looking. So, so crusted golden brown in there and stuff and everything. Mm. Look at that. That's that, yeah, that's done. See that, you see that? It's a little sprinkles of feta cheese on top. And I cannot wait to try this, you all. Yeah. And, and you know, like I said, I'm still sticking to my smoothies, but I don't want my avocados to go bad. So I had to do this video, you all, you know, because I bought these avocados, you know, before I did the detox. So it's still good, you know, still good. This is all I ate today with, along with the smoothie I had made. I had made a raspberry, strawberry, blueberry, strawberry, pineapple smoothie today. I added very little spinach. So 
It was kind of like a berry smoothie, you know, something like that. Well, that's what I had, so. Here, I just want to try it with the guacamole and the chicken. As you can see, that chicken is done. Sister not, hold on, sister ain't playing. Now I'm taste. I got stain on my shirt from cooking, y'all. It's good. This, this is this, this, this is the bomb. It tastes like chicken and dressing for some reason. It tastes like chicken and dressing to me. Maybe because the breadcrumbs on it and the feta cheese, but I cannot tell that this is guacamole. I can't tell at all. It's good, y'all. So it's healthy, and I did my thing on this one. So I consider this a banger, y'all. Please share this recipe. Please like, share, subscribe, comment at the bottom. And tell me what y'all thought. I, I think I did an amazing job on this one. So, peace out in Jesus' name. Be blessed.